welcome to this NX unboxing. Well, right in front of me I have Conception Plus, Maiden of the Twelve Stars. Uh, this is one of those games that I did not expect to have an unboxing of, but as you see, in the right top corner it says bonus. So there's something interesting inside, at least that's what I think. And uh, not many people show what's in these things. Uh, like before there were stickers, I had a nice art book, which is actually a manual sized art book, so it's not thick art books, but still it's nice to have. Um, yeah, so that's why I thought let's unbox this also. Um, what I can say about this game is that it is a remake of a PSP game. And the remake, of course, the original, of course, is called Conception Maidens of the Twelve Stars. This is the plus version. Um, and I did have uh, one of the first games for the Vita that I bought was uh, Conception 2, which by then I thought was a completely different game. I thought it was. Um, um, yeah, I forgot the name of that game that I thought it was, but the crux here is that you are, um, it's a harem game. So the guy in the picture is, uh, that's the, the guy that you play and you are breeding offspring and um, the off for those offspring it is a roguelike, they can die and then you have to breed more offspring, something like that. It was pretty complicated but I thought it was interesting. Uh, like I said, I have the second one. The second one is, a, they say it's better than this one, but this one is a plus version. So I'm not sure how this, um, how much it is remade. I mean, it used to be a PSP game. This is PS4. There's a huge difference in power between those systems. So it should be very uh, different. Let's see. hate about these plastics is that they are so noisy. Okay, let's see the back first. Yeah, this doesn't look PSP at all. The baby boom is back in this Starfield RPG. As this Starfield RPG is reborn, yeah. Like I said, it's a remake. Oh, and it is it's, uh, it's published by uh, Spike Chunsoft. Again, the Danganronpa and um, Zero Time Escape series, guys. Okay, no stickers. It's a calendar. <laughs> and <laughs> it's... Oh, I, I didn't have that one yet. I didn't expect to get a calendar. It's literally a calendar of last last year. Man, this is weird. Why would you Okay. <laughs> First of all, this is weird because it's not a normal calendar. It's a horoscope calendar a zodiac one so it means that it doesn't start at the first of the month it starts at the first of the zodiac which in this case is the 22nd of december instead of the first of january this is just weird and like i said it's from 2020 so it's from last year it does have nice art there's a calendar it's useless it has very nice art actually well in that way you can you can use it just as an art book. It's a bit floppy. But it's nice, especially since there's so many so many releases don't have art books anymore. Or don't have manuals anymore, they do have art books. But manuals are they're like included in the disc. You can access them while you're on the console, which in my opinion completely uh, doesn't, it's not useful because you want to check the manual while you, while you are playing. 
not before or after. That's what art books are for. <laughs> uh, anyway, let me know what you thought about this. Let me know if you would actually think that this calendar is gives this release extra value. Um, and yeah, that's it. Have a nice day and bye bye. See you for the next one.